Today, we'll discuss equipment cleaning procedures, a crucial part of GMP in the pharmaceutical industry. Proper cleaning of production equipment is essential to ensure product quality and safety. Uncleaned or improperly cleaned equipment can introduce all sorts of contaminants to your products from residual ingredients and cleaning agents to microbes. This could potentially jeopardize the efficacy and purity of medicines. Let's first understand why equipment cleaning is so important. Pharmaceutical equipment comes into prolonged contact with materials during processing. These residues are considered contaminants if the next batch contains a different product or strength. Left unchecked, they can lead to issues like carryover cross-contamination between batches. The regulatory authorities like the FDA have strict rules around cleaning procedures. You must develop validated written SOPs to clean equipment contacting products. This includes determining validated cleaning methods, approved cleaning agents, contact times, and verifying that the cleaning is effective. When developing cleaning procedures, there are some key elements to consider. Procedures must reduce chemical and biological contamination, as well as prevent cross-contamination. You should also validate the cleaning conditions to ensure cleaning removes residues below acceptable limits every time. Thorough visual inspections and analytical testing further prove equipment is clean before use. Detailed records demonstrating cleaning occurred are a must. Properly identifying and storing cleaned equipment is also important to prevent recurring contamination. Some other considerations include differentiating cleaning for common versus dedicated equipment. Another factor is choosing the right cleaning tools and cleaning agents suitable for the job. Sanitation plays a role too, by reducing microbes via chemicals or heat. With potent drugs, clean water is advised for the final rinse to avoid reintroducing pathogens. Cleaning hoses require special attention as well to ensure they dry completely. Question, what are the fundamental elements of equipment cleaning? You should consider four fundamental elements during equipment cleaning. One, standardized equipment cleaning procedures. GMP requires establishing standard operating procedures for equipment cleaning. Two, cleaning validation. All cleaning procedures must be validated under specific conditions of use to show they are effective. Three, cleaning conditions. Written procedures describe optimal conditions like the strength of cleaning agents, water or solvent type, temperatures, and contact times. Or I, cleaning records. Detailed records prove that cleaning occurred and evidence of cleaning outcomes like visually clean surfaces or rinse water test results. Records must be signed and identify who did the cleaning and when the cleaning was done. Question, what type of contaminants must be removed to ensure product quality and safety? Contaminants can be introduced to products if the equipment is not properly cleaned. For example, cleaning agents, denatured products and excipients, heat denatured residues and endotoxins or pyrogens. These contaminants can affect pharmaceutical products quality and safety if not effectively removed through cleaning. Question, what is the difference between cleaning and sanitization? Cleaning is the removal of visible and microscopic contamination by dirt, extraneous matter or product residues by mechanical or physical means. It is usually followed by visual inspection and laboratory testing to verify its effectiveness. Cleaning often requires using cleaning agents such as detergents and solvents under specified conditions. Sanitization, on the other hand, is the reduction of microbiological contamination. It is typically achieved using chemicals, heat steaming, or vigorous mechanical action. While cleaning may partially reduce the microbial load, not all microbial loads can be destroyed by cleaning alone. Sanitizing agents are effective only in certain circumstances and must be used under strict conditions according to the cleaning procedure. Question, what are some common cleaning records? One, cleaning records include identification of people responsible for cleaning and maintaining the equipment. Two, maintenance and cleaning schedules. Three, detailed description of the methods, equipment, and materials used in cleaning. And four, the record of holding time of cleaned equipment before use. By following a scientifically validated cleaning procedure and maintaining the appropriate records, you can rest assured their equipment meets quality and safety benchmarks. If you have any questions or would like to learn more on this topic, please visit our website, gmpsop.com. Our blog provides free, in-depth information on the equipment cleaning procedure. Subscribe to gain access to hundreds of well-written GMP documents library. Use the link in the description to reach us. Thank you for watching.